Errol Spence leaving Derrick James. That's the narrative that's about to be pushed. But before we get into that, I want to tell y'all, I'm sorry about my energy level right now. I did sleep 30 minutes uh, overtime today because I've been working very hard on some other YouTube projects that I got going on. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm not as high level energy as I usually am. Uh, so I want to sincerely apologize to you guys about that. But the reason why I'm making this video and I'm making it as soon as I wake up is this. I was asleep. I rolled over to check my emails and check you guys and see if there's comments I needed to, uh, to respond to. And I seen live now as a man that I know a lot of you guys watch in the boxing community, I sure damn did, uh, Showbiz the Adult. And it said Derek James, um, Errol Spence split. Errol Spence leaving Derek James. I said, oh, fuck. So I click it because in my mind, I'm like, wow, man, they've been together for so long. Showbiz the adult plays the clip of where this information is came from, and it's from Ryan Garcia's press conference. So I said, okay, let me listen, because I heard Ryan's press conference. I didn't hear anything weird. Um, and it's when Ryan says, Derek James says I'm his last fighter. And then Showbiz does what he normally does. <gasps> <laughs> Did you hear that? And I said, yeah, I heard it. I heard him say that Errol, I mean, Derrick James said, I'm his last fighter. But he's saying, that means Errol's the true Spence and Derrick James are no more. And I said, how the hell did he get this out of that? I have three kids. If my youngest daughter comes down here and says, my father said, I'm his last child. Does that mean I just went and killed my other two kids? If my wife said, you know what? My husband said this is his last and only marriage. Does that mean I'm divorcing her tomorrow? Like, bro, what narrative is this? That's not, how did you get that from those words, bro? And it disgusts me. I'm gonna tell you why. Showbiz the adult, I watch him, but I stopped watching him as much as I used to because of this reason. He always tells us that he's giving us the black two sugars. That's what he says. If y'all don't watch his shit, then this is probably going over your head of why I'm talking like this. Um, that's how he talks. That's what he says. But when he's giving us the black two sugars, he doesn't tell y'all that he's putting a teaspoon of diarrhea in there. Yeah, that's, that's shit inside of that coffee. So when you're drinking it and you're like, what is that? Why does it have this aspartate? It's, it's shit in there. It's diarrhea. Yeah. And your coffee. And your black two sugars. It's, it's, it's shit in there as well. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that metaphor. I hope I'm not slobbering all over the place. I'll tell you what I mean by that metaphor. He's, he knows his shit. Showbiz knows his shit. He's very knowledgeable about boxing. But since he knows his shit and he's so knowledgeable, he's able to slide in bullshit with that. And then you guys are eating it up because it sounds real. It sounds real. There's not a lot of boxing analysis or people that break down boxing, I should say. Because uh, I don't know if I got that word right. People that break down boxing in the community. You only have a little bit of people to choose from. And he's the, one of the biggest ones. So it really disgusts me that these narratives are being pushed and we eating this stuff up. I say we because I was one of the other people that used to eat it up too. Until I decided, hold on a second, man. This shit is just not right. This dude is not. So it disgusts me, man. So I don't think Errol Spence and Derrick James has split. And if they did, it's not because of, it's not off of what he's saying. That doesn't confirm it for me. When they split is when I hear that they split from the sources or people very close, close with the camp. That's just not enough, man. Um, you guys got to watch who you support. I'm not telling you to come to my channel and support me. Hell, I don't even know how long I'm going to talk about boxing because I'm going to talk about boxing. I talk about wrestling. I'm just trying to find my way on this YouTube platform. You know what I mean? Uh, my heart and soul is with content creating uh, with the show called We See Monsters. I make that on YouTube. If you guys want to take a look at that, you can look that up. But that's what my heart is. But this is just something I'm doing, you know, for fun right now just to see how it is. But if you guys want me to stick around, if I'm entertaining to y'all, let me know, man. I'm here for the long haul if that's the case. 
But um, y'all just let me know, man, what y'all think in the comment section below. Do you think that was enough to go off of? Am I wrong? I'm okay with being wrong. Uh, do you watch Showbiz the Adult? Have you stopped watching Showbiz the Adult? Um, just let me know in the comment section below what y'all think, man. And um, yeah, I'm out. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm, if y'all watch this, if you watch this, his videos, you know everything I'm doing are, are shots. I'm taking shots. Showbiz, man, if you ever watch this video, I'm not as knowledgeable as you are. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know what draws Muhammad Ali wore in his fight. I don't know what um, ball, stra uh, ball strap that Bernard Hopkins had on when he did. I don't know this stuff to the T. I don't know. But I will tell you one thing that I do know. I know fraud very well. Grew up in a life of it. You, my friend, you a fraud at times. At times, you are a fraud. Now, all the time, just in case the, the sensitive buttons get pushed, you are a fraud at some times. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Peace.